The Twelve Forty Five by Joyce Kilmer. Read for LibriVox.org by Alan Mapstone. For Edward J. Wheeler. Within the Jersey City shed, the engine coughs and shakes its head. The smoke, a plume of red and white, waves madly in the face of night. And now the grave, incurious stars gleam on the groaning, hurrying cars. Against the kind and awful rain of darkness, this our angry train, a noisy little rebel pouts, its brief defiance flames and shouts, and passes on and leaves no trace. For darkness holds its ancient place, serene and absolute, the king unchanged of every living thing. The houses lie obscure and still in Rutherford and Carlton Hill. Our lamps intensify the dark of slumbering Passaic Park, and quiet holds the weary feet that daily tramp through Prospect Street. What though we clang and clank and roar through all Passaic streets, no door will open, not an eye will see who this loud vagabond may be upon my crimson cushioned seat in manufactured light and heat i feel unnatural and mean outside the towns are cool and clean curtained a while from sound and sight they take god's gracious gift of night the stars are watchful over them on clifton as on bethlehem the angels leaning down the sky shed peace and gentle dreams and i i ride i blasphemously ride through all the silent countryside the engines shriek the headlights glare pollute the still nocturnal air the cottages of lakeview sigh and sleeping frown as we pass by why even strident patterson rests quietly as any nun her foolish warring children keep the grateful armistice of sleep for what tremendous errand's sake are we so blatantly awake what precious secret is our freight what king must be abroad so late perhaps death roams the hills to-night and we rush forth to give him fight or else perhaps we speed his way to some remote unthinking prey perhaps a woman writhes in pain and listens listens for the train the train that like an angel sings the train with healing on its wings now hawthorne the conductor cries our neighbour starts and rubs his eyes he hurries yawning through the car and steps out where the houses are this is the reason for our quest not wantonly we break the rest of town and village nor do we lightly profane night's sanctity what love commands the train fulfils and beautiful upon the hills are these our feet of burnished steel subtly and certainly i feel that glenrock welcomes us to her and silent ridgewood seems to stir and smile because she knows the train has brought her children back again we carry people home and so god speed us wheresoe'er we go o hocus waldwick allendale lift sleepy heads to give us hail in ramsey mawa suffern stand houses that wistfully demand a father's son some human thing that this the midnight train may bring the trains that travel in the day they hurry folk to work or play the midnight train is slow and old but of it let this thing be told to its high honour be it said it carries people home to bed my cottage lamp shines white and clear god bless the train that brought me here smart set joyce kilmer end of poem this recording is in the public domain